Hi guys, welcome back. This is take two of the live Let's Talk About Pro Stitcher Connect Live conversation. I think my microphone is working this time. And now I need to wait for everybody to catch up with me again because I may have closed all the things externally. So sorry about that. Oh boy. This is why I don't do this as a one-man operation. <laughs> Good Lord. Yay, you guys can hear me again. Thank you, thank you, thank you for bearing with me. I'll get better at this. I'll actually get a production crew. It'll be fantastic. Um, there we go. All right. I believe I'm streaming on the YouTubes as well. If you're out there on YouTube, please just say hi and let me know that things are working well over there as well. I would appreciate that. Uh, Facebook family seems to be doing just fine. Okay. Starting over. I'm Jason. I'm at Warm and Cozy Quilting. I am everything long arm related. That includes the Pro Stitcher program, which, by the way, Pro Stitcher is not just Handy Quilter. It is Janome. It is Baby Lock. It is also King Quilters. Uh, if you are using the Pro Stitcher system, this information works for you just the exact same. Okay? Uh, that's the most important thing to start off with so that you're aware that this is not just only my customers that have bought a machine from me. However, I am doing this for those people specifically because you're my favorite people. Thank you for buying machines from me. So, Pro Stitcher Connect, what is it? It is the newest update from Handy Quilter that allows us to connect our tablets for our Pro Stitcher system to the internet. No, you are not going to be able to go out and do all your Facebook talking and all of your googly searches on your tablet. The very restricted internet access that allows you to connect to ProStitcher.com so that you can access designs from the new ProStitcher system without having to use a flash drive. Also, updates that will come out for the ProStitcher tablets will be accessible by just clicking on the download button and not needing to use a USB drive. But those of you that have ever updated your own tablet and have had to juggle flash drives, sometimes it's super obnoxious. So it's actually kind of a great process. Kind of glad they've done this. Now, if you have a ton of designs from a previous website all on a flash drive, you are still going to use that flash drive. Okay, so don't go throwing them all away. You do still need them. All right. That said, you do have a ton of questions. That's fine. Ask the questions. I'm going to go through and all the information I can. Hopefully I'll answer those questions as we go through this. If we have questions at the end, I'll run through the questions that you've thrown out there and we'll get them answered for you, at least to the best of my ability. So I haven't played a whole lot with the Pro Stitcher Connect since it came out yesterday, but I do have it installed on one of my machines in this house. Uh, my Amara is currently running it. Uh, it's kind of nice. It seemed to work fairly easily. Uh, so don't be afraid of it at this point. So, let me see here. Sorry. I'm going to do all kinds of fun stuff. When it comes to getting the software, there has been some talk of people saying, oh my gosh, it's brand new release. Don't go and get it right now. Wait. That's fine. I'm not object to that train of thought. It's absolutely reasonable. Whenever there's a new software update comes out for anything, I strongly encourage people to give it a week or two to let some people realize there's bugs and get those bugs resolved. However, I don't like to wait. I'm okay with dealing with bugs if they happen to be in the system. So I've downloaded it and I'm going to use it. If you're comfortable with your computer or the technology enough to try it, I say go for it. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, if it was that much of an issue, most companies are not going to put something out to the masses that's going to be completely riddled with problems. So that's just my take on it. I have strong confidence in the Pro Stitcher team. They're a pretty solid group of people. All right. So how do you get the program? Well, first off, what you're going to do is you're going to go to ProStitcher.com, okay? Uh, when you get there, you're going to have to, very first thing that I strongly recommend you do is create an account. On the ProStitcher site, you're going to see this little dude over here in the corner, little silhouette of a human. You're going to click on that, and that's going to take you to the account creation, all right? Now, if you had a Quiltable account, ProStitcher and Quiltable have become one company at this point. Okay, so they were always owned by the same parent company, but now they're all under the same umbrella. They're all the same people. So your Quiltable account should be the same thing. Um, if you haven't set up an account with Quiltable yet, then go ahead and create an account. Real quick, real easy, not tough to do. Uh, once you've done that, it'll take you into the system and you'll be able to download what you need to get. 
The reason you have to do that is to get the Pro Stitcher Connect software. Used to, we could just go to ProStitcher.com, go to the software updates, which is over here under software, and clicking update to connect. Used to be able to just go in there and download without needing an account. You could just download any software version that you wanted. Well, now in order to get this, you do have to be signed in. So you have to create an account to get the newest version of the stuff. All right. Um, let's see here. The one other thing that you're going to have to be asked about is the tablet. This is the biggest conversation that people have is their age of their tablet. Will it work with the new Pro Stitcher Connect? They put so much information out there for you to be able to tell whether or not you're going to be okay. The easiest thing to know is if you're running on Pro Stitcher Standard, which is the you know, more white screen um, program, why are you eyeballing me like that? It's green. Is it green? Standard? Oh, sorry. It's Regardless, been a long time it's been a really long time since I've seen standard. standard. If you're operating in Standard, however, chances are good your tablet is not current enough to be able to handle the new Pro Stitcher Premium. Therefore, not able to handle Pro Stitcher Connect. Um, but on the Pro Stitcher website, under the software version, they do have the link to the tablet and carriage uh, compatibility guide. Well, there's a whole list of there people is. who can. There is a whole list of what machines you have that are out there. Next to those machines, it has an image. So you can kind of say, oh, my tablet looks like that. If you are bought a machine within the last four to five years, you're fine. Let's just go that way as well. It's been longer than that than since you've gotten the Pro Stitcher system. You may have to verify what, with what machine tablet you have. Um, now, if you have an older Pro Stitcher system with an older tablet that does not support Pro Stitcher Premium, I want you to know they are excited about this Pro Stitcher Connect and they're actually offering a deal on tablets. You can upgrade your tablet for $750. Now, I'm going to tell you now, those tablets generally run $1,200 to replace. If you have an older tablet, this is the time to take advantage of that to get to the newest version of Pro Stitcher. It will work with the robotics that you have. All the robotics have been designed that they can work well with the old, with the newer versions of, versions of stuff. Um, that is an amazing deal, honestly. Uh, that's actually cheaper than what I can get the tablets for to replace them for you if something goes wrong. So if you need to upgrade your tablet, now is the time to do it. Is there a cost for getting Pro Stitcher Connect? No. All updates for Pro Stitcher customers are always free. Upgrades, such as upgrading your tablet, will cost you money. Okay? So, there's that. Um, but anyway, you can have a look at all the tablets that are out there, see which one's yours. Your box that your tablet came in should have the machine number on it. Um, also, on the back of the tablet, you may have to slide the tablet out of the holster a little bit. should have the uh, brand name on the back of the tablet that you can look at that as well. All right, so once you know which tablet you have, back to the software screen, whoop, you're going to put in which tablet you have. And if you decide, realize that you have like an HP Omni 10 and you click on that, it's going to tell you you can't download this, which is nice. So you're not going to inadvertently download it and think it's going to work for you. But if you have a Chewy, which is most of the newer ones, you'll click on that, it'll give you and when you click on this, if you haven't signed in yet, it's going to give you this cool little red warning that says you have to, or actually, it says you don't have permission to that because you have to create an account. So make sure you create the account before you try to download the software. Okay. Everybody doing so good so far with everything? It's not difficult. I promise. If you have problems with the install or you're not sure where else to go once you've got it downloaded, over underneath the learn tab over here on this side, there is, um, this is what I wanted right here. Stop that, Jason. There we go. Under learn, you've got Pro Stitcher Connect FAQs. Go to that little button right there. Okay. In those FAQs, there are how to update your tablet, and also how, once your tablet is updated, to connect to Wi-Fi. Correct. You're going to have to connect your tablet to the Wi-Fi in your house, wherever you're at. You're going to have to be able to go to the right screen to do this. 
the step-by-step -step instructions, there are videos and there are PDFs that you can click and download and have all that information available to you. Um, actually, this is just a video. The how to connect to the Wi-Fi actually has a PDF that you can print out. Okay. Which is nice because you can take that printed piece of paper with you. Correct. Over and go, okay, check. I Correct. got that step. Right. So we're downloading the software update. We're going to then put that information on a flash drive, and that's going to go to our computer to update to put what they connect on it. All right. From there, you're going to connect to the Wi Fi. It really is super easy. I promise it's not tough. You can do it. If you have questions, you are always welcome to give me a call. I have no problem helping you guys out. All right. Oh, my screen. I slid it over too far. I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. So, any questions with any of that so far? So, things it doesn't know is your Wi Fi's password. Correct. It does not know your Wi Fi's password. That's why you're going to have to do the connect to your Wi Fi. That's what okay. that step through instructions are all about. So if um, you connected to your Wi Fi years ago and you don't remember this password. Oh, you're gonna have yeah. To. If you're like me in my house, I don't know what my Wi Fi password is. <laughs> You're going to have to know that information, just so you know. Um, be aware of that. Good call. Thank you for pointing that, that out. Case, because I, I know my like, Wi-Fi right. here, and so my machines are going to be just fine because I know how to get on it here. But right. at my house, that's a different story. In that case, you're going to go to your regular computer. You're going to, let's say you have Spectrum. You're going to go to Spectrum, and you're going to say, I've forgotten my password, you know, and go through that kind of information so that you have everything that before you're going to your long arm, to your tablet, and then you don't have all of the information. So you just want to have the correct information before you get there. Right. Okay. So, Beth had questions as far as the designs that she has loaded on her tablet. Will they still be there? Yes. Nothing's going to change on that, got that end. It will never take designs off of your tablet. If you've put stuff there, it's going to stay there. It does not take stuff off. Um, actually, with this update, I'm pretty sure there are no designs added. Usually when they do a, a software update, they usually throw in some bonus designs just for funsies. I didn't recognize any out there, and I didn't see any in the update notes um, mentioning that happening. But when you sign in to ProStitcher.com and you create an account and you download the software, they actually give you a free download when you create an account. So that means you can buy a pattern using the ProStitcher Connect software uh, right off the bat. So you do get some freebies out of it. So, you know, that's always a nice thing to know. Um, Terry asked, when we connect, then log in, then download. Um, let me rephrase, maybe. So you're going to download the update from ProStitcher.com. And to do that, you're going to create an account, sign in, download the update. That, you're going to extract that data to a flash drive. And put that flash drive into your tablet on your machine, and you're going to update. You've done first Use this steps step by from steps. your from, on your computer, not at your machine. Yeah, you're you're going to start off at your desktop, laptop, whatever you're on, because you have to get the information from the internet to a flash drive to update your tablet and your machine, so that way it can connect to the internet. Okay, so you are starting with this computer first off. All right. After you've done that, you can go back, get your tablet signed in, then follow the step-by-steps on how to do the Wi-Fi connection. And then once that's connected, you'll be able to use your tablet connected to the internet. Okay? Yes, flash drive. Sorry, that was my bad. I may have overstepped that a little bit. So you do have for this step, you got to get the software update there, and then you're good to go from after but that But it's point. the last time. It we'll should be the last time. We'll have to do that. As long as you're buying all your patterns from Pro Stitcher Designs, which I'm going to talk about that a little as bit far as well. As updates, you'll never have to go and get a flash drive to do an update. Right. To do an update, you'll never have to get a flash drive again. You're going to be connected to the internet that you can do it from your tablet. It's actually quite fantastic. Now, for those of you that have a tablet or a Pro Stitcher, you don't buy designs, um, you don't mind doing an occasional update on your tablet by yourself. Um, and you don't really want to connect your tablet to the internet, like this doesn't intrigue you that much, that, in my opinion, is it's fine. You do not have to update. This is not a mandatory required thing that you have to do. Please don't think that it is. Um, 
I do have to say that the Pro Stitcher Designs library of designs that they have available is greatly improved from the last time I looked at what was the quiltable site. Um, they have a lot of really great designs out there, and it's really nice to have it conveniently available to you via the tapping on your screen and not having to run around and download stuff. But again, if you don't download designs regularly ever at all and don't really care about that, do not feel obligated to go have to run out and do this. It's not that necessary. Um, Beth asked if she needs a new or empty flash drive. You do not need a new or an empty flash drive. As long as the flash drive has enough room on it to hold the, the program, that you can download the update and put it on. Um, the other thing to know is that when you download the update, it's going to have a pre-install file and then the program install file. You're going to want to make sure you run both of those, and that does save to do that in the updater or in the, the pro, uh, oh my good lord, the step-by-step -step instructions that are on the update. Pro, uh, good golly, Danielle, my brain just short-circuited. In the step-by-step Instructions. instructions that yes. you're going to print out. Everybody, go print them <laughs> out. Good lord. Okay. It's been a long week already. Um, let's see here. The other thing that people have asked that I've seen a lot of questions are about is there it has been the word subscription has been thrown around. Okay. You do not have to pay another dime for anything. You're fine. That was why you know you bought Pro Stitcher because the updates were free. You're not buying Pro Stitcher because they're going to make it a subscription service. None of those things have happened. So if you've seen these comments and you think, oh, no, I'm not paying any more money for anything, that's not what's happening. Okay? Purely, I'm actually going to bring it up over here on the screen. On the Pro Stitcher, this is the new Pro Stitcher Connect layout. If you notice and you're used to Pro Stitcher, there's a few new buttons on screen that haven't been here before. You've got this little guy over here on the right-hand side. looks like a Wi-Fi signal. That is the button that connects us to the internet. If that is turned off, there will be a red X through it. Uh, if it hasn't been fully connected, there'll be a question mark in it. Um, but when you see this, this is telling us that we're connected to the internet through the program, okay? Uh, when it comes to help, this is kind of one of the biggest features that I absolutely love about this update, is up here next to our, our cogwheel settings, we have this little book. This is our how-tos. This is for our questions. This is how we need to learn. Uh, it will ask if you can accept cookies. The answer is yes. I love cookies. Thank you so much. This is how you get to your educational library. Um, again, this is all happening through the Pro Stitcher program on your tablet. You don't have to get another tablet and set it up over here precariously on your quilt so you can watch that video of how did I do that. You can go in here, get more information, how to add designs, click on that, and it'll simply bring you over to your videos. Here we go, nice and easy. And you can hit the play button on this and watch it. You can also get the instructions in the PDF form that if you like to read along with. Again, these are the same links that you're gonna find on your computer when you're sitting away from the machine and you wanna print these PDFs off. These are all there. They're all available to you on your tablet, okay? Um, which is kind of a super great thing to have. Also, because it's through the internet, mm -hmm. these can be updated. So right. if they come out with a new feature and they want to put in a new video or something that they've done in the past, they found a better way. Right, it's become obsolete can, data. Right, Absolutely. They can um, update those right there. They don't. You don't have to get notification from us that, hey, there's a new video, you know, it's just right there on your, it's going to be updated on your tab. Right. The other thing that we have tab-wise that's new in our Pro Stitcher window is up here along our tabs across the top, you now see P CPS patterns. You click on that, that opens up the Pro Stitcher designs um, screen. All right. From there, you can go and you can shop patterns. You got, oh yeah, by the way, they have free patterns that you can go here and you can buy. So yes, that account that you created to download the Pro Stitcher Connect, you are going to have to sign in into your Pro Stitcher tablet underneath here, so that way they know it's you. Let me do that real quick. Click. I have noticed it is a tad slower running through the tablets. I think that's just the technology is what it is. 
Um, also, I was having really sluggish internet here yesterday anyway, which is even more frustrating. But I'm going to sign in. No, nope, that's not to subscribe. I want to do my this guy. It is loading. There we go. I'm going to sign in. Okay, I'm signed in. I'm gonna go back to my patterns. Say I wanna check out Edge to Edge. The other great thing about this uh, software or the buying of these things is that if you decide you're gonna do the subscription, let's talk about that for a minute because that's more money. The subscription is $14.95 a month and you get two free downloads each month. Okay, plus some and 25% off your other design purchases. Again, if you're not buying designs and you're not really that active about downloading data, like you don't really care enough, you like the library you're working with, you don't have to do the subscription to get these things. You can still come in here without a subscription and buy a design. It will have a price associated with it on how much it's going to cost you, and that's what you're going to pay for it. It's still quite easy to work with. However, for me, I've done the math because I love numbers. They have a yearly subscription dollar amount. It's about 150 bucks, okay? And if you're in the Pro Stitcher group, the Pro Stitcher Posse on Facebook, they have a discount code out there for you, a 30% discount code. That's 30% discount code. So if you get the yearly subscription that's about 150-ish dollars, and you take 30% off of that, you're paying about $100 for a year subscription, which is gonna get you two free patterns a month, plus 25% off anything else you buy that month, um, for about $8.33. Per month. Per month. Yeah. It's all at once, obviously. You're, you're paying, paying 100 bucks all at once, but well, you're- Actually, that's kind of nice. You don't have to worry about like, when does that come out? Right. What is this charge for? What is this charge for? You've paid it all once at the beginning right. of the year. Um, and when you think about a single pattern usually runs about $15. The great thing about the freebies they give you, as you see these bundles right here, where there's a seven piece collection to that, one of your free downloads each month or both of them could be a set. It could be a bundle. You could buy seven patterns for effectively less than $8 because you get two freebies. That's eight bucks divided by two. Like just do the math guys. It's ridiculously it's cheap. Deal. It's a really good deal. Especially if you like to add new things to your Especially collection. Especially if you love adding to your collection of your library. And then you don't have to chase any of that stuff around. And you can just download it straight to your computer, your tablet. So um, what you mean by that is we've been buying patterns from... I've been buying patterns other, for years all over the place. Right. And so in and by chasing it down, you mean you're going to your computer. You've now looked up... Um, urban elements, and yep. you found a pattern. Now you've got to download it onto your disc, your stick. Yep. You take that to your machine. We have multiple machines, so now we got to put it on multiple machines. You know, you can save it there. You can just anyway. There's a process. There is a process. Now you don't have to do that. No, you don't. Now you can still go shop your other sites. I have my favorites. I'm going to continue to shop. MyCreativeStitches.net, I'm, I'm not leaving Urban Elements. I love these guys. They've got great designs. But the Pro Stitcher design, ca design category has gotten really kind of amazing. And I am probably going to subscribe to this membership and get some really good deals on some design bundles for really just because. Why not? Um, again, not mandatory. Don't have to do any of that. Um, as far as... That goes, like I said, it's it's not necessary, but it is helpful. I, I think it's absolutely worth doing at some point. Again, if you want to wait a week or two and just make sure they got the majority of the big bugs worked out, that's totally fine. If you're going to dive into it and do it now, I say go for it. Um, it's absolutely, in my opinion, worth the time and effort. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to bring up that had been a question. Um, I don't see any other big questions in here either. Um, Beth and Terry seem to be the only major ones this time. Um, am I going to what? Install it. 
I am not going to install on on camera uh, okay. only because installing on camera is slightly different from installing on your tablet. Uh, mm -hmm. Your tablet is going to be a little bit different process and all that stuff. Uh, what I would also encourage you to do if you're going to install the newest version of Connect, I would also check to make sure that your machine is on its most current version. If you go to handyquilter.com, let's just do that real quick. Go back to this button here. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Handy Quilter. Whoop. All right. And this is for Handy Quilter. This, if you have a baby lock, if you have a Janome, you're gonna go to your respective website and look for any software updates that are out for your machines, if there's any. Um, under machines, whoop. Okay, okay, good gracious. This is why you do this stuff ahead of time. Um, resource, you go to machines, you go to resources. Under resources, you have machine software updates. Click on that. And you're going to find the machine that is appropriate for what you currently have. I have an Amara, so I would find my Amara software and I'm going to scroll down. There's installation instructions on how to update your machine software. You may want to do this. Right, because there is machine software and there's tablet software. These are two different things. Right. Machine software is what your machine uses to understand how it's stitching and all that stuff. That then communicates in conjunction with the tablet, which is the Pro Stitcher software. So if this is on a super newer version and this is kind of an older version, there is a chance for miscommunication. That's why it's really kind of encouraged to make sure you're on the most ver current version of machine software when you put the newest version of Pro Stitcher on. Um, again, under installation instructions, here's a PDF. You can click on that. You can print that off. That's going to give you your step-by-step -step instructions on how to install the machine software. You do have to install the machine software onto a flash drive. Take that to your machine to install it at this time. Okay. Um, and then again, it gives you all that information so that you can update your machine accordingly. We should do that part first. I would probably check that first and probably do that first. That would be most ideal. Once you know your machine is ready for the update and changes, then update the Pro Stitcher tablet. This is what I would strongly encourage you to do. Okay. Um, if you don't, say you've already installed the Pro Stitcher Connect and you've already got the newest version, you're playing with it, things seem to be doing fine, but occasionally get random miscommunication issues. Uh, try, I would definitely check your machine stats or machines version at that point for sure. Okay. Um, I just had a wonderful thought and it just whoop. doesn't even matter. It'll come back to me. If not, that's all right. Uh, Dolores, your baby lock cornet. I could use it, but would you advise it? Um, you, Dolores, you have a baby lock coronet with with Pro Stitcher. Um, like I said, you it, just have to make sure that your tablet is making sure everything is its current versions is going to help resolve potential issues. I mean, also if you have questions, you should call your dealer. You definitely should call your dealer sure for sure. That. See what they think because everybody's going to have a different opinion on this. Um, if you're one of my customers and have that, yeah, that's you know. By all means, give me a call. Uh, Beth, do you do house calls? <laughs> I mean, I guess if I have to, but I'm more than willing to talk through th you over the phone with you on things too, um, just to verify what's going on. Uh, it's It does seem crazy intimidating to do all this. There's a lot of buttons to push, a lot of, oh my gosh, what about, what if? Um, but it's really not as terrible as it seems, I promise. It's, but again, I'll gladly also, you, walk you, you through the phone on that as well. Up. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it like you should tr <laughs> you really it's tough to mess anything up at this point they if, they've if got the step by step instructions one, then it's gonna you know yeah you really have to just i can't even imagine what you would have to push for things to not work right it's just a matter of make sure you're just you know if you have questions call your dealer appropriately if i'm your dealer call me that's what i'm here for uh like i said I think the biggest concern I saw was that um, people were seeing prices that was concerning them more. 
Um, yes, Beth, if you have call questions, by all means, give me a call. Um, but you really don't need to be that concerned about it. Um, I, I think this update is going to be kind of fantastic. I think the connectivity to the internet is going to be huge. Uh, the classes part of it that, um, where's my mouse gone? I have lost if track. I could just it. say, yeah. what I, who I think this will help the most is those of you who bought Pro Stitcher and have used it only a little bit because you try and you're intimidated and then you then you go away from your machine and you sit and you watch videos. Right. But then you go to the machine and you've forgotten what your video said and now you're there and now you're intimidated again. Like your stuff is right there and, and it's able then it is from Pro Stitcher. It's mm -hmm. not you're watching somebody's video and maybe right. they're giving you okay information, but you don't really know. This is coming from the from the manufacturers. Like they are making this, they're making right. the education. Um, you're getting the best quality information and you're getting it while you have the question and it's the answer is right in front of you. Right. So um, I think it will help those who are, or maybe you've been doing this a long time, but you want to do more advanced things. You want to start, you know, looking at how do I do something else? You know, there's there's more videos out there. Right. And help. Absolutely. Um, the other thing, and to build on that, the biggest question that we get uh, generally is, so I was watching this video and I got this answer and I watched this video and I got this answer. This is a very common problem. So having Pro Stitcher videos, tutorials there, for you to click on and watch that are from Handy Quilter directly, it's going to help reduce the amount of watching four different videos and 18 different opinions on how to do one thing. Because everybody has a different opinion on it. I have a different opinion on it from Handy Quilter sometimes. There, there are multiple ways to do the same thing and get good results. Right. It's not like someone else's um, ideas are wrong necessarily. Mm -hmm. It's just different than what the next person says. So then you think, Oh man, that guy doesn't know what he's talking about because I saw over here she said this, you know, right. and and it's just taking kind of all of that out of the equation. You're watching one set of videos and these are coming from Pro Stitcher and it's giving you the information that you need. Right. That doesn't mean that you're not going to go still watch your favorite YouTuber and um, get some more helpful hints on different things, right? Um, or find a way that really communicates well to you. Um, but this is nice that it's all right there. Right. Uh, so Carla asked about the connectivity being the only real thing. Kind of really was the biggest thing. If you go underneath the software update, you can find uh, patch notes to understand, or release notes, the new features and changes to understand what the new Pro Stitcher version gets you aside from connectivity. Uh, the consistent tie-off speeds for PS Lite users, um, that's huge because when you use the tie-off stitch on that and it stitches stitches and stitches real quick again um it's kind of obnoxious so it's nice for that kind of stuff to be featured or corrected so this is um, going pro stitcher light too oh yeah yeah connect is for pro stitcher light as well so i guess i should have said that not just premium it is light users as well so i know i've got some customers out there with ps light this does work for you and you can get the same connectivity working for you um my favorite in the updates is the nudge arrow no longer sticks how many times have you been repositioning something and you hold that arrow down and you look away for a second and you look back and now your design's chased at something across the screen? That is so fun. <laughs> like, that is the best thing I've ever I'm heard. I'm so happy that after at least four years, they finally resolved that um, because that was super annoying. Um, a lot of communication you know, with the machines, reducing some of the crashes that were happening. Um, a lot of these things, I've read comments of people having these problems. I myself never experienced them, but that's the fun of technology. Sometimes it's not every time, all the time. So um, so there are some bug fixes that they did correct for sure. Uh, but the biggest correction being the connectivity, getting that going on so that you guys can do that as well. So yeah, Carla, not some major things that I think is going to change lives necessarily, but super helpful regardless, I believe. So... And again, if you're not keen on giving it a shot and you want to wait and see how it goes, that's a completely fine, rational way to handle the situation. Um, so, with all that said, 
I believe that's all I've really got to cover. I don't see any other major questions coming out of any of this stuff. Um, we're going to leave this video up for a while. So, Oh, yeah, this video if, is going to be out there forever. If you're watching this Absolutely two watch days it from it being live, it's fine. Mm -hmm. We will still be monitoring comments and questions anyway. Yep. Um, but also know that if you have a question and you're like, how do I connect it? It's going to be way better if you call and talk to Jason than, you know, yeah, again, do not discount the uh, educational portion of the ProStitcher website and how to connect. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions. Again, if you don't have the tablet that can handle this and you want to upgrade that, you can do that through ProStitcher. You can call me. I can help you out with getting the correct tablet for you, um, all that stuff, okay? Like I said, there's a lot of questions, a lot of concerns. Don't be afraid of it. It's just something new, something a little different. Um, Again, don't expect you're going to go to your tablet and do all the fun stuff. It is very restricted to just ProStitcher.com and the access to the information that is there. So be aware of that. Right, because okay. we don't want bugs in our long arm. No. The other thing to that note is I do strongly encourage that when you're not using the Wi-Fi, if you're not using ProStitcher Connect, that you disconnect the Wi-Fi. So you can actually turn it off. That's where that on the ProStitcher button or on the screen on the ribbon, you can tap that and turn it off. That way you don't leave that door just standing open. There's no reason to. So some of you may never use it in between every six months of using it. Who knows? But um, like I said, it's all yet to be seen how well it plays out. If I start running into bigger issues with my machines running it, uh, I will let you know as soon as I know anything. Um, but at this point, I used it a little bit yesterday and it seemed to be just fine. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but if you have any questions, I'm more than willing to help you out if I can. Uh, so Baby Life has a pro stitcher also. Is this a dumb question? Uh, no, it is not a dumb question, Mr. Lars. Uh, pro stitcher for Baby Lock does exist. So absolutely, if you have a, a Baby Lock machine, you can get pro stitcher. You will and have to go through your pro stitcher dealer uh, or through your Baby Lock dealer. They'll get be able to get that for you. Uh, pro stitcher, even though it's the same robotic system, and all this applies to Handy Quilter, Genomi, Baby Lock, King Quilters, applies to all of them. However, each Pro Stitcher system is unique to specific machines. So a Pro Stitcher for Amara 20 is specific to Amara 20 only. You can't take that off and put it on a Regalia. You can't take it off and put it on a QMP20. So each one has their own that you have to get software-wise. So Dolores, um, you could just sell your machine <laughs> and buy a handy quilter. That's how you Just can sell it <laughs> and come buy an handy quilter and we'll just get you a better machine with Pro Stitcher. It'll be just Yeah, I wish, I wish that we could sell all of the different machines and help, you know, all those things. But um, we, we can't sell Pro Stitcher for Baby Lock because we don't sell Baby Lock. So, right. Um, also, Beth did ask the question. Oh, did she? Um, how do we how tell do we, the machine up to date before today. doing this new? Okay, great question. I, since I'm not on a tablet, a machine's tablet, I can't really show you specifically, but here's what you do. You go to your machine screen. All right, so for you, I'm speaking specifically to you, Beth, because I know you have the Forte and you've got the little silver tab button on your screen. So with Pro Stitchers loaded up, you tap the little silver button up top and you tap on the little machine that's there on your bar. That takes you to your machine screen, okay? You go to your information button, the I over on the side, that's gonna take you to the information on your machine and it will say what your machine version is. It should, It'll most likely be 4.76 or 4.77 uh, with your machine. The current version is 4.81. So you may have to update your machine because of that. So just something, that's how you would do it though, is to find out where you're at there. Again, it is not difficult, I promise. It is absolutely the easiest thing to do once you have it downloaded onto your flash drive. You plug that into your machine, tap some buttons, follow the instructions that are in there. Um, on the pages and we'll absolutely be able to get that updated. It's really not difficult. Or call me, I'll walk you through it, it's fine. All right, mm, let's see here. I am still on the wrong screen, Danielle. How'd I end up back over there? Ah, buttons. All right, uh, anything else? Anybody, anybody? Nobody, okay. Beth's gonna have her sixth grader helper. There you go, nice. Yes. Absolutely fine. Makes sense to me. Makes sense. I mean, again, 
they I, that's the one and thing that, I credit Handy Quilter for on a lot of their stuff. It is very user friendly. You have to remember that. Don't get me wrong. I will gladly help a customer with their machines because that's my job. There are people though that do not have a dealer within three to four hours of them or more. They just don't have somebody nearby. So they've designed these programs to be very user intuitive. You can figure it out. You can follow the instructions. You can do this on your own. It is absolutely doable. That doesn't mean that you're not going to be concerned about it because let's say honest, we spend a lot of money on these things and we don't want to mess them up. Um, but again, it's, it's pretty intuitive. You should be all right. I, I think you'll do just fine. So, um, like I said, anybody has any other questions? Can I just say, yeah. I understand the apprehension. Absolutely. Because whenever something has to be updated on a computer, I go, Jason, yeah. just come do Now, I'm lucky he's <laughs> here right. in the same building with me. So I totally get it because I'm sure that I'm going to mess it up. And, you know, I totally get the apprehension. But really, these are not difficult things to do. Um, just following the steps right. is... All good. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, it's it's just about a comfort level. Some of us get it. Some of us don't. I am not intimidated by computers. Actually, my intention is to break them all the time. I have not broken an HQ machine yet. So if me intentionally, willfully trying to do it isn't working, <laughs> I guess you'll be just fine because you're trying to avoid it. So that's my thoughts on that. Uh, let's see here. Mostly well, think... because you want to find the areas that can be messed up yeah. so that you can help someone if they get in that predicament, right? Absolutely, so kind of my goal. Like, you're not just like trying to break stuff. <laughs> right. Uh, again, Sherry, you asked about uh, if you lose the stuff, you will not lose any of your designs. Absolutely will not. The program, Pro Stitcher, is, the updates are not designed to go, oh, look, there's stuff that's not ours. Delete it. Your information that's on your computer will stay on your computer. Um, Again, though, if you have stuff from Urban Elements, I've got so much from Urban Elements, I will not be able to use it without a flash drive. Um, so if I buy new stuff from them, I'm going to have to buy it, download it, put it on a flash drive, put it in. So for me, flash drives will never actually fully go away. It's just not going to happen. Um, I think there's too many great designers out there kind of all across the board um, for that ever to happen. But like I said, there are a lot more designs in the Pro Switcher catalog now that I really think are worth checking out and giving them a shot. So um, absolutely should be worth the effort and time. The other thing, I'm gonna speculate on something here. Bear with me. So I'm gonna go over here. I wanna go back to my screen share real quick. Expectations, what am I expecting from this? Look at this. So if we go up to our educational portion here, and we wanna go back to my educational home, Oh, I'm speculating. You don't know why you're shaking your head at me. I am super excited about this. Look here, guys. So inside of the ex this educational stuff, they got courses, right? You can do your Pro Stitcher educational library, designer library. You've got light educational stuff here. My expectation, I'm hoping, I'm finger crossing. We're going to see how this goes. In time, if they start in Greece and in introducing more advanced classes, that they can make available to us through Pro Stitcher. How fantastic would that be? This is my expectation. There is a lot that they're planning with this whole program. There's a reason why they want to put it to the internet so that way it's easier for customers to access the information. So um, to say I'm excited about this would be a slight understatement. I really am very excited about this whole possibility. Um, I'm glad they finally added some connectivity to it. We're gonna have to play it out, see what happens, but anyway. If you need more information on your machine or, you know, any of that stuff, if you need a machine, you're watching this, you're like, oh, it's like fun. I want to do that. Come talk to me. I got machines for sale in store. I got my floor models always are an option. I can always set you up with a new one. Handy Quilters always running promotions on their machines. Uh, this month is a gift card to your store that you're purchasing from for your, your accessories and purchases of sorts. Um, I think the last time I had this promotion, somebody walked out with like a $1,500 gift card for the shop for accessories. That's an absurd amount of accessories. I just want you to know that. So anyway. Um, or pack. Or, uh, well, yeah, you can mostly, use mostly you accessories. So anyway, um, that's what I got. Yeah. Have questions, answer questions, throw them out here in the comments. If not, 
I appreciate you taking time and hanging out with me. Sorry about the initial rough start of it all. Thank you, technology, for your support. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. We'll see you guys later this evening for our live sale. Uh, until then, uh, happy quilting. Have a good time. We'll see you soon.